Poetry is natural to all human beings in all times and places. It originates at a time before there was, there were microphones, before there was a printing press, uh, before there was any of the technology that we associate with poetry. It takes the human body to produce poetry. It takes a sense of taste, touch, smell, vision, hearing, and it takes each other because poetry is targeted for one another. I'm founder and executive director of Get Lit, Words Ignite, which is a teen poetry program in Los Angeles and Southern California. And specifically, we teach teens to memorize classic poetry, perform it, and write their own written responses. So it's a performance poetry organization. And we in America, we as a society, really value people who can change our state, can change the way that we feel. And that's what Poetry Out Loud, that's what performance of these poems does. We did a school-wide competition, uh, similar to most other schools with Poetry Out Loud. Um, all the uh, teachers had their students prepare um, two different poems um, that they would recite for the judges when that day came. Um, we had several coaches that came in and assisted the kids after school. Frank definitely stood out from day one. I know one of the coaches um, let me know as soon as he had worked with him uh, that this was somebody who had something special. Reciting poetry was pretty hard. It wasn't easy. It's was a lot of like, understanding of what you're saying. You have to know and feel. You can't just say it. It doesn't come from the mind. I think it comes from the heart. But mother, I won't be alone. Other children will go with me and march the streets of Birmingham to make our country free. My name is Cindy Marshall. I was born and raised here in Oxnard. Uh, my, I have three sisters and a brother. Um, my father deceased when he was 26. Um, I got pregnant of Frankie and I was saying at my mom's, he was saying it at his mom's, and he would do some crazy things one night. He came to the door and with the knife trying to get at me. Yeah, it was a strange order, so we went. My uncle called the cops, and uh, my dad left on the bike. We didn't hear from him for a while, for like a couple of days. He was in the hospital. They said, oh, he fell off his bike while riding his bike, and he hit his head. What did, what did he do, bump three times? Then we asked where he was at. Well, and then we found out. Me and my sister and my mom went to go see him. He had like tubes in him and stuff. They took him in the hospital. He mm -hmm. was on life support. Frankie touched his daddy's hand, and so she touched his hand. And I gave him a kiss on the, on the forehead. And I asked him if he knew who I was, and he and the tear came down his eyes. So I figured, yeah, he, he did know. So we, I told him not to fight it and to go, you know, to to go for that. My mom comes in later on. She told me that he's not gonna make it. Next morning, they pulled the plug. Welcome. Welcome to round two and round three of the California Poetry Out Loud State Finals. So I ask all of the county champions to stand, please. From Ventura County, Frank De La Torre. We wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. We wear the mask. Yeah, because Frank's got to go into the third round. the third round. Frank's main goal in life is to become successful and to get paid for what he loves to do the most, expressing his deep emotions through rap music and lyrics. I am, yet what I am, none cares or knows. My friends forsake me like a memory lost. I am the self-consumer of my woes. They rise and vanish and oblivious hosts, like shadows in love's frenzied stifled throes. And yet, I am. 
untroubling and untroubled where I lie. The grass below, above the vaulted sky. champions to come up on the stage. And our California 2011 Poetry Out Loud champion. I really wanted to win here. And uh, found out I didn't. So it's cool though. It was a nice experience, especially coming fresh out of the juvenile hall, you know? I don't really do that thing every day. Well, it just goes to show, you know? Everybody, just because you got a messed up background or you come from the gutter or whatever, doesn't mean that you you don't have potential to be smart. People like really think that just because their life is messed up and they've been down different routes and stuff doesn't mean anything. Makes you a stronger person. Makes you who you are. For Frank, it was clear to everybody that uh, performing up in front of an audience, being creative, that's his thing, and uh, he did really well at it. And I hope he continues to pursue that. He's got a future. Poetry out loud program that we ran ended up in impacting many kids.